Sometimes cops show up well prepared for 911 calls only to realize that it was a total waste of their time. From cops responding to a 911 call falsely reporting an Arab man to be a member of ISIS. Oh, on! Roll out! Roll out! Roll out! Get in front of me! Get in front of me! Just yellow! Come behind you! Uh, Austin, wait. Head straight out in front of you! Don't move! Cover, cover, cover! Get that phone away! What the Get that phone away! So responding to a man causing unwarranted trouble at his workplace. Doesn't they were yelling at me. Conduct. Okay. And you're not going to take him to jail for putting his hands on me. Not under the circumstances. And pushing me. Nowhere. Get in your car and drive away, okay? Things are done here. That's just bullshit. Here are times when cops responded to the dumbest 911 calls ever. Starting off with the case of a 17 year old who accidentally called 911 during a gaming session, claiming to have harmed two individuals. Turn around. Turn around. Yep. Turn around. You got me covered. Okay, so this was just an accident. You yeah. called 911. So we thought that there was a double murder. So we showed up to your house. On the 5th of January 2023, armed policemen showed up at a residence after a teenager butt dialed 911 and stated that he had taken the lives of two people. As a result of such a heavy confession, officers rushed down to the scene armed and ready to confront the suspect by whatever means possible. Unfortunately, they were totally unaware of the surprise that awaited them. Q594, Frank over Henry. Okay. Show us your hands. Prior missing Javel on a request for a subject named Tracy Connor as the caller. Like different phone numbers for both. Temple, we got contact. Male juvenile coming out, talking to us. Is everyone inside okay? Okay, bring him out. Do you need EMS started? Negative. I'm like that. Do us a favor, turn around. Turn around. Turn around, you got me covered. All right, just put your hands behind your back. I'm not going to cuff you right now. Do you have any weapons on you or anything sharp? Nope. Yeah, yeah. I was playing Rainbow Six Siege inside. What'd you say when you're on the phone accidentally? I can't remember. Oh, I remember the four minute phone call. What's your name, bud? Elijah. Okay, you can relax. Okay, so this was just an accident. Yeah. You called 911. Uh, Did you say you killed two people or something I was like that? Rainbow Six Siege. I had my headset on. Okay, how old are you? S 17. You're 17. Do you have a driver's license or no? Oh, uh, no. Okay. I don't have a driver's license. Are you, we'll where, walk back every day. Where's your parents at? Uh, work. No, okay. No. Be cold? no. You call my parents? Just hold on, hold on a second, okay? Do you care if we just check, make sure everybody's okay, nobody's in the house? Uh, I have my dogs away. I have two German Shepherds inside. Hey, okay, okay. Door. okay. Um, we can do that real quick, put, put them away. Outside of the dogs, though. I just spoke with uh, the juvenile son's father, Tracy. I've got a phone number off the <clears throat> Elijah, what's your last name, bud? Uh, Matthew. Elijah Matthew? Yeah. And what's your date of birth? Yeah, do you, can you call your mom for me? Yeah, man. Oh, shit. No. Thank you. He said no, they're not friendly. No. The girl is the boy, so I thought I put him away. Okay. Mom. Yeah, there are uh, four of them right here. I was playing the game, I had my headset on, and uh, I butt dialed the police officer on accident. And I, I just, you know, I was in the game, you know how I, you know how I act when I'm in the game. And so four of them came here. Do you want me to talk to your mom? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. You're not in any trouble, man. All right, uh, if it's an accident, Hey, it. is this Elijah's yeah. mom? Okay. Yeah. Hey, so what happened is, I guess, he's saying that he was playing a video game, and in the process of accidentally calling 911, he said that he killed two people, but he was talking about on the game. So we thought that there was a double murder, so we showed up to your house with a bunch of us. That's why we're here talking to your son, okay? So there's nothing to be worried about, okay? Yeah, I got we're, a call. Yeah, we're just, trying to, we're, we're just doing our due diligence here, trying to figure everything out and make sure that everybody's okay, because we have to do that when we get a 911 call. So right, right. we just wanted to inform you, um, are you nearby or no? No, I'm in Highland Heights at work. Okay, well, we would like to uh, just check out the inside of the house if that's okay, just to make yeah, sure that- Yeah, put the dogs away? Yeah, yeah, your son was telling us that the dogs need to be put up first, so I just wanted to yeah. talk to you before, so we can get your permission, okay? Yep, that's totally fine. All righty, well, thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Uh-huh, bye. bye. After being granted permission, the officers moved into the house to certify that all was well. Let me just get my supervisor on, on speed with us here. Hey, 
We can go in, put the dogs up, check the house, and go 10-8. Okay. Uh, I guess you have questions about what's happened. Good. Yeah, let's go in. Okay. We're just gonna go and put the dogs up and check the house real quick, bees. Right. Once they got in, they searched all the rooms, and when nothing was found, the officers concluded that the house was clear, and the boys' 911 call was a misunderstanding. In this next case, while this gamer's 911 call was accidental, 18-year-old Wyatt Beckley intentionally called the police to report himself and paid a hefty price for it. Hey, um, a man in a blue hoodie just pulled a gun on me. Keep your hands up and walk back to me now! Get on your f***ing knees! On November the 2nd, 2022, Wyatt Beckler, who was said to have been excessively viewing videos of people getting shot by the police, called 911 to report an armed suspect matching his description. A prank that turned out to have awful consequences for him. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Uh, 410 Poplar. Hey, um, a man in a blue hoodie just pulled a gun on me. Okay, and is he still there? Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's running away. Right? Running away? All right, and you said, what was that address again? 410 Poplar. Okay, you said man in blue hoodie? Yep. Is he white, black, Hispanic? He's white. Which way did he go? Uh, I'm not quite sure. He's, he's running right now. Okay, is he going towards Hoagland or towards Fairfield? I, I don't know. Okay. Man, do you know that guy? No. Okay, and what's your callback number? Hello? A police officer went out to the location and met the boy walking down the street. 321, I got a male in a blue hoodie right here at uh, Poplar and Hoagland. Let me see your hands real quick. Come back here. Hey, come back here. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. He's walking northbound and Hoagland is refusing commands. The boy then turned back and walked towards the officer. Let me see your f***ing hands now! Get your hands up where I can see them! Keep your hands up and walk back to me now! I got one at gunpoint. Keep coming to me, keep your hands up! Face away from me and keep your hands up! Face away from me and keep your hands up! Keep walking back! Keep walking back. Stop there. Get on your knees now. Keep your hands on your head. Get on your knees. Stop. As he walked back, he reached into his pocket like he was going to pull something out. At this point, it was obvious that he was playing a dangerous game that was not going to end well for him. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Now. Get on your knees, dude. Once the officer noticed that he was reaching for something, he fired at him three times. One down. Shots fired. One down. Wyatt was immediately provided medical aid, but passed away at the hospital following his operation. In this next case, a man's unjustified 911 call ended with him being arrested and taken to the station. I was just going to say, listen, I came off rude to you. I do apologize for that. You know, I did not. The I didn't tell you I just had narcotics. I'm going to go with dickhead. On January the 3rd, 2023, a man called the cops to report an incomplete auto work despite payment. What's going on? I, uh... I had an appointment, I had a breathalyzer thing in my car that needs to get swapped out every month and they do an evaluation on it. I, I paid for it over the phone by credit card, I already did all that. And now he won't do the work on my car when he's already got my money and everything else. Tell you, you won't do the work or what? Yeah, he told me he won't do the work. Why are you sweating so much? Because it's hot and I've been sitting in the car for an hour and a half, I got no AC. No, just keep your hands out of your pockets while we're talking. I told you. I understand that. I treat everybody the same way. I just thought no disrespect. Just hang out for a minute. Let me talk to them. Just stay out here, okay? What's up, boss? How are you? All right. What's going on? Trying to get him out of here, you know. And uh, when I was doing the download, his, his camera didn't work, okay? And then all of a sudden, he blew up on me. Oh, the camera's fine. Blah, 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 right? I'm like, I'm on the phone with support, tech support, trying to re rem uh, remedy the problem. 
So he got all on my face about it, and then uh, I just said, look, I don't need this. And I just packed up my shit and got off the truck, and I, and I pulled it in. I said, you gotta go somewhere else. While the first officer spoke with the repair man inside, another officer arrived at the location. What's happening? I got breath on I got blown to start the car. Yeah. And he was supposed to do the... The switch, it has once yeah. a month only maintenance. He says my camera's disconnected. He's like, oh, the camera's disconnected. I was like, no, the camera's absolutely not disconnected. And if it is, I don't know anything about it. We got to get in the computer and check diagnostics on this. But then he tells the guy that it had sticker or tape or something over the, the camera part. And he starts telling him he can't do it because of that. Long story short, the guy got his money. He never paid it. Why are you so nervous? I'm not nervous, dude. I'm You're frustrated. Shaking. Your pupils are pinpointing. Who cares? I'm high as hell. Is that what you want to hear? Can we get so to you the... drove here high as hell to get I'm a... not high, man. You just said. I was being sarcastic. I was just trying oh. to move this along. I'm not paid to be sarcastic. I, I, I got high after I got here. Weird. I know. How are you going to get out here? <laughs> I'm not even hiding. The man's weird behavior led the police to suspect that something was up with him. At this point, the seemingly innocent 911 call for a flimsy reason was about to land him in serious trouble, but he was yet to see it. Talking about, Turn around, put your hands behind your back. For what? You're being detained. You said you're not what? For what am I being? Suspicion of narcotics. That's not, that's not illegal. Put your hands behind your back. Yeah, you tense up. It's going to be real bad. I know it will be. All right. You haven't met me yet, so I'm just giving you a fair warning. This is crazy. Isn't it? You don't think so? You, you really? Yep. Well, you admitted you just got high after you got here. You didn't take that as sarcasm. No. Do you have anything in your pockets to no. me? I'm going to no. pat you down. Okay. Bye, Okay. Yeah. Let's see. What am I sitting in? No, 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 no. What? You're hey, fishing as hey, 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 narcotics. Hey, no, but I'm just going to this. Calm down. Uh, I'm just saying, what do I get them to take for? What did I have to see? Possession of narcotics. That's not a crime. That's not a crime. Possession of narcotics? Possession? Where's the possession at? Where's your possession? Hey, have a seat. No, 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 no. Where's your possession at? Have a seat. No, dude. Have a seat or you're going to go to jail. You're, well, you're trying to do that. Let me sit out here like a normal person. Did you want me to? No, what's your suspicion? I'm going to ask you one last time. That's not illegal. It's not illegal, officer. That's not illegal to have a seat. It's not illegal. Call. No, right, you're not going to for a seat. Seat. For what? Sit down. Sit down. Dude, get the leg in. Actually, come on back out. Now you're getting searched incident to arrest. Oh, why am I getting searched? Obstruction of justice. How? Huh? an officer without violence. I'm not resisting. You, you just did. Work. How did I resist? You should go in the jail, my dude. I ain't playing your games. You're, 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 you're breaking the law. I didn't I'm resist. How did I resist? I'm not breaking the law. I'm not, I'm not by me asking a question. By me asking a question, how is possession? Or a son, a son, what how is possession? How is possession? Oh, yeah, you yeah. answered your own question. There's Frederick. no possession, dickhead. You're not going to find anything. You're going to be real pissed and look real stupid. What'd you take? I didn't take anything. Do you need an ambulance to check you out? Why would I need an ambulance to check you out? I don't know, out? you said you just took narcotics. I did as, yeah, it was sarcasm. Well, I guess you'll learn about sarcasm, won't you? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's suspicion of drugs, huh? So that's a crime now. We're arresting people for that? No, you're being arrested for resisting without violence. Well, how, and, and how did I resist you? In what you, way? Uh, just what obeyed way? my lawful command to seat what, how in did the I car. Do, what? I, I have a seat now. I, I, oh, I asked you what I was under arrest for. No, no, no. Dude, you know my dad's a fed. You know my dad's FBI. I don't care. You don't care. Yeah. President of the United States. And you're going to still arrest me on these bullshit charges? You know what he's doing's fucked up, man. Hey, let me talk to you. No. You know what he's doing's fucked up. Get your foot in the car. Come on, dude. You know what he's doing's fucked up. His car was searched for drugs, and the outcome of the search was no good for him. You want to start on that side and start on this side? You can tow it if you'd like. Yeah, probably going to. Actually, since he's under arrest, I'll check that may be something where we tell it. I mean, I I was doing it, but he just got 
crazy. Yeah, he's not very cooperative. Yeah. No, and he's never been a very. He's he's been trying to be this difficult to get this equipment in there. Oh. Yeah, the call from the SO referenced that previous signal nine. Mm. He said they're on. Mm. He stacked my call and showed me back out at uh, fourteen fifty four twenty three. I'll go check for that test kit real quick. All right. So pot and then synthetic. Awesome, so Thank sure. you. And I'll let you. Uh, I'll deal with that one. I'll call Sarge. All right, sir. Good news and bad news. Stay in the car. Try to get out of the car. We're gonna have to crop you. Understand? Thought it was good to go. No, you're not good to go. What are you trying to get my attention back here for? I was just gonna say, listen. I came off rude to you. I do apologize for that. I was, I was frustrated because he Before was supposed to start rambling. Well, let me reach you something. You have the right to remain silent. Anything what am I being you say arrested? For? Can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning, what if you wish. Girl. You can decide at I any time to now. exercise these rights and not answer any questions no. or make any statements. Do you understand each I understand, of I understand exactly. Okay. With that being said, what would you like to tell me? <laughs> Nothing. I'm good. Okay. So you're being arrested for resisting without violence? Okay. You got your body camera on, right? Yep. It's been recording this entire time. Okay, great. I'm taking it to trial. You're I swear to God, I'm taking a, it to trial. You're also getting a civil citation for, for marijuana. marijuana. Oh, damn. Do you have a prescription card? I'm, I'm definitely taking it. I just want you to know I'm 100% going to take that to trial. And when you, when you're sus, uh, suspicion of, uh, suspicion of whatever you said, what'd you say? What was it again? What was I under arrest for? You had narcotics on yes. you because you told me that you had no, I did not. the narcotics? No, I didn't tell you I just had narcotics. Sure. I... You definitely did. Oh, so... I, We're not going to argue the No, no, no. I'm the telling you. Well, I was, I, was arrest. I was under arrest because suspicion of narcotics. That's what You're I was under arrest. You're yes. being detained, lawfully detained. And oh, being so lawfully being detained, lawfully detained, I have to be handcuffed and stuck in the back of your car. Right no, I want, I want to talk. So when you're lawfully detained and handcuffed, and an officer asks you to sit in the back of your car, you have to do have that. Seat, and you disobey my command. That's resisting. No, it's not. Command. It absolutely is. No, it's, it's resisting not. without. Violence. So without being any charge, without anything charged against me, just your suspicion, I can be placed in handcuffs and put yes, in the back you of your can. car. My safety, absolutely. Absolutely can. cannot. Yep. I can sit on the curb right there. Just like this, and you can do anything about it. Does the car say Burger King or police? Because last time I checked, where I asked you to sit, where you'll sit, and you refuse to do so. Okay, well, I'm taking it to trial. I swear to God, I'm taking it to trial. That's fine. You're under arrest. I'll see you at the jail. Move your foot. Fuck you. Ironically, and contrary to his expectations, he was the one who ended up being arrested and taken to the station. Listen very carefully. What? You do not obey my instructions. I can't guarantee your safety. Oh, I didn't kill you. Understand me? I'm going to go with dickhead. Stop right here. Ten fourteen, white female juvenile. That's a jail. Got the camera cut. No, it's two four. You hunting, huh? Hunting predators at work and go to go to work. Yeah, have jobs. I actually can work with my country in the army. Oh man. Well, fuck, dude, my uncle's. Do you have anything on you once you go through this door? It's a felony. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah, sure. He got charged with resisting arrest without violence and received a civil citation for possession of THC. The man had no idea that the tables would turn on him, and neither did this man who was pissed because he received a citation for yelling. Hey! Go fucking stand over there! Get away from he him! Go stand over there! He's been trying yeah. to sell firearms yeah. and he's yeah. a felon. Okay, you can't come to a business and start Sir, yelling. I work and... here. I get you, but it they were yelling at me. Okay. And, you and you're giving me a citation, I mean, for, a citation for me yelling. For disorderly conduct. Okay. For disorderly conduct. On the 8th of June 2022, officers responded to a call about an altercation that occurred between two persons at a workplace. A 911 caller who claimed to have been bullied by his boss's son had no idea that involving the police was going to land him in trouble as well. How you doing? Good. Um, Let's get out of the road and we'll talk over there. Yes, sir. Thanks. Here, Eric? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Incident today at the. Officer? Yes, I want him arrested. Okay, well, before we get to any of that, I need to know what happened. All right. The owner called me about a call I did this morning. Mm -hmm. And she's trying to say that I could have towed the car. I tried to explain to her why I couldn't and that the owner of the vehicle did not want me to tow it with my truck because I have a record. 4 by 4 she wanted a flatbed. She got mad, hung up on me. Mm -hmm. I'm at the other office. I just got off at 8 o'clock. I came over here to try to, I was coming over here to talk, 
I got to the door. Mm -hmm. um, I was yelling at her. Mm -hmm. Her son came running out of the bathroom, jacked me up on my shirt and told me to get the fuck out of there. Fucking, he grabbed me by my shirt and pushed me off of the steps and pushed me into the truck that's right next to the steps. And then I had to hit the truck and then he grabbed my phone, slammed my phone on the ground. I went to go grab it and said I was calling the police. He grabbed my phone again and he grabbed me by my shirt and holding my phone like that. I told him, I said, you know you're going to jail now. That's an assault. You'll see there's a big dent in the truck. Okay. All right. Let me talk to this guy quick and then I'll be right back with you. And this is not the first time with her son. Her son is always getting irate, getting in people's faces and everything. She can't even deal with him. I didn't put my hands on nobody. I didn't do none of that. And he fucking just snatched me and fucking threw me right off the steps. He went way beyond. The officer proceeded to collect the statements of the other people that were involved. Hello. Hey. Are you Josh? Hello. Uh, no, Josh. Okay. Hey, you Josh? Yes. Now, have I talked to you out here real quick? Yeah, um, so, sue the owner. We've been dealing with some drama that he caused last night. I can't really speak to that because that's what she's dealing with. Um, I was in the back room doing some stuff. He comes in the office and instantly, nothing out of his mouth but screaming, just instant screaming, top of his lungs. Um, I step out there and Shay, the other officer guys out there, um, we ask him immediately, you need to go. You need to go outside, we'll deal with this later. Uh, continue to scream and be in our face. So we opened the door, asked him to leave, guided, I'm, I'm touch you, guided him out like this. Okay. And then, so he walked down the stairs. He tripped down the stairs. These on his, stairs here? No, oh. in, in the garage. Okay. He tripped down the stairs, kind of stumbled, dropped his phone, and that was that. And then we continued to tell him to go out the back door. He continued to do the same thing, kind of stay in our face, not want to go anywhere. Got him out the back door, Sorry. shut the door, and just told him, don't, don't bother coming back. And that, that was it. We've had issues with him yelling before. We've had issues with him being violent before. Um, a while ago, he actually almost ran me and Shay over with his car. Okay. You came in, you heard the screaming, you came in from the garage, you heard the screaming. Just um, up or, front, in the, okay. near the bathroom area. Oh, okay. Yep. So you came out, you said, whatever this issue is, we'll have to take care of it later. Yeah, we, we can't leave. deal with yeah, it when right. people are screaming. Yep, right. exactly. I just so said, you just need to go. What was he screaming at you then when you asked him to leave? Uh, I'm not going anywhere. It's along those lines. I'm not going anywhere. Did he swear or threaten anything? I, there might have been some swearing in there. And there was no physical altercation whatsoever? No, but like oh. I said, we were touching okay. each other because we were right. in each other's face and we were both walking down the steps and he's a bigger guy and he kind of okay. tripped over we're, his feet. And when he tripped, did he fall to the ground? He no. fell against the vehicle, okay. there, I believe. No threats to you, no physical violence to you? No. I don't recall any okay. threats, but okay. again, you know, okay. I just wanted him out. Sure. And to be honest with you, he's a problem, he's a felon. Okay. Uh, I know he's had pe past issues in the past. Mm -hmm. I've given him as many chances right. as I can. Honestly, the only reason he's still here is because I said, let's give him a fair right. shake and right. a chance. 8.30 okay. in the morning, coming in, instantly screaming at the owner, who's also a woman. I yeah. just don't understand where, where someone sure. thinks that's okay. And that was it. Sure. Can you just give me the rundown what happened on your version yeah. of the story? So I was sitting at my desk with back to the door. And all of a sudden that flips open and he comes in screaming, yelling about whatever him and Sue were talking about for hours on the mm -hmm. phone. He's been this guy before where he comes in hot and we tell him he's got to leave. And he's just he's very confrontational. Okay. So we started telling him because... I know the mechanic said, he's like, you guys, right away, you got between him and Sue and said, you need to leave. Mm -hmm. He's like, you guys both told him multiple times, you need to leave, and he did. So we're like, Eric, you got to get the hell out of here, just get out of the fucking building. Okay. So then they start, you know, walking back out the back, trying to get towards the back door. And I told him, it's like, Eric, you can't be out here anymore, we can't have you on property anymore, you need to step off past the curb, it's like, I can't have you on our premises anymore, okay. if you do it again, you're trespassing. Okay. I mean, five minutes later, he's back on the property sure. and all that, but that's not my thing. That's Do we know what the issue was that happened that he's so upset about? He's that guy. He's just he's he just got angry. criticized for something he did last night. Um, the toe he wasn't as as far as I understand, with like the toe calls and shit, he's just very confrontational when people send him stuff. He just if it's not convenient for him, oh. he just he's that kind okay. of guy. Okay. So he just he takes everything personal and then blows it way out of sure. proportion. He, 
This is, I don't know how many number of times he's come in okay. screaming and yelling at people or been out on the back stoop okay. having shouting matches with people. It's been an issue. Was there any physical altercation, like any fighting, anything like that? No, no fighting. Nobody right. threw any punches or anything. I know when they were going out the back door, it was like, hey, you need to leave, you need to leave. Right. And he backed out. Okay. And, I mean, you saw the steps. Okay. Um, I don't know if anything on the back steps out in the back back mm -hmm. or anything, but once we got him outside, I kind of tried to stay okay. between people okay. and just okay. keep him on. Was anyone else involved, or was it just Eric, you, and Josh? Uh, it was Eric and Josh. We kept him away from Sue, so we just kept the buffer, and then once him and Josh were arguing, I stepped between okay. to keep that from escalating. Okay. okay. All right, I appreciate your time. Although the man's account of the events made him seem like the victim, the officers had him know that he was equally at fault for what had happened. He snatched my phone from me. And your phone was in your hand? Yes, sir. Okay. Why did he take your phone? Because I said I was calling the police. I even tried to sit there and talk to him after he fucking put his hands on me. And he was still going on and yelling and cussing at me. Okay. Because when I was, I was at the door and he pushed me, I went like this. <laughs> and slammed into the truck. Okay. There's a like huge How far away dent. from me are the, were, were you from the truck when he pushed you? About four feet. And I, I, I kept my composure. I didn't put my hands on him. Or I, I wanted to punch him in the shit, but I know better. Yeah, okay. Let me go talk to this other officer here and I'll be right back with you. All right. So essentially, so you came here yelling and screaming. You're upset with Sue, I get it. Um, that's, that's not acceptable behavior. It doesn't excuse what happened with Josh. So essentially, if if you want to pursue charges, then you're also going to be charged with disorderly conduct. They don't want to pursue charges against you, but you can't come into a place of work yelling and screaming and causing a scene. Disorderly conduct for a place that I work. Okay, do what you guys got to do. Okay. Then. Is that what you're? Is that what you want I, done? I whatever. I mean, okay. they should never put their hands on me. If you're going to charge, that's stupid. You're going to charge me disorderly conduct yeah. for me yelling, but that's disorderly conduct. I don't know what. Coming into a place of work screaming and yelling and making you a scene. You know how many days every day that he comes in yelling and screaming at all the employees? Okay, that doesn't that doesn't excuse your behavior. I mean if, Okay, no problem. Is that what you do you want to be charged with that and have him charged as well or It do don't you, matter, you can go ahead. We both can go to jail. Can I park my car? Okay. I'll have to make a phone call. I don't think anybody's gonna go to jail, but you can you can be charged with it. Hey, you want to come down here and get my car? Because now they're talking about that I have to go to jail. You, you if don't I'm have to go to jail. On Josh. You guys so, can get a signature bond. You don't have to go to jail. I'm on probation. Okay. So you still don't have to go to jail. I want him to go to jail. What he fucking did? What he fucking did? Put his hands on me and slam me in the truck. Okay. And you guys are not going to arrest him? That's bullshit. His colleagues, on the other hand, didn't want to press charges. But when they learned about his intentions to press charges, they were left with no choice. So yeah, he's claiming that you, he was pushed and he wants to press charges, but we're explaining to him that if he wants to press charges, we're going to charge him with disorderly conduct right back because in this effect, whole thing, this thing all started because he came in here, you in know, a, all pissed off. And, and if yelling. that's the case, I have more stuff. Right. I mean, he's right. a felon. He's right. trying to sell me weapons. He's right. got guns in his possession. I'm not trying to go down that rabbit right. hole. Right. I just want him gone. Right. No, I that, that's what him. I told. I told my partner that you guys just want him gone, you know, and just want to cut ties, I guess. So. Yeah. Um, I, I would, would have never even had to guide right, him right, out if right. he would have just left like I asked. He continued right. to scream. I, he couldn't even step right. back here. Right. And then, then he then he stood here. Right. Didn't even after that point when he tumbled uh, or not tumbled, but when he kind of tripped over his feet, I just backed right. away. Didn't want to touch him anymore. He stood here for a few more minutes, and then eventually um, Shay was able to get him to step outside. What? The officer decided to wrap up the situation, but the man just wasn't having it and demanded to see a supervisor. That's my girlfriend. She oh, okay. works here. She's the manager here. Okay. She can even tell you how he fucking acts every day and treats yeah, people. I get you. She's even looking for another job. Okay. All right. So just, just based on the information we're getting inside and based on the, the totality of what happened here today, nobody is getting arrested for this or has to get arrested for this. You don't have to get arrested. He doesn't have to get arrested. What we're going to do is we're going to issue you both a disorderly conduct ticket. You're going to... How are you going to enter... He put his hands on me, so you're not going to arrest him I for him you. putting his hands on me. I'm not today, no. Just based on the Okay, can I have your supervisor come out, please? Yeah, I'll give him a call. As the cop went to call for his supervisor, the two began to charge at each other once again, forcing the officer to intervene. Hey! Go fucking stand over there! Get away from he him! He came right Don't over here! Don't stand over there! 
Go stand over there and stop running your mouth. Just don't listen to him. Just, no, just, just, I, would, just don't listen. I would like to do whatever I need yep, to yep. do. To... Yeah, I know. He just threatened no, me in no, front no, of the no, office. No trespass. No. Yes. Well, why did you come out here though and go near him? I knew no, 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 no. I went over here to deal with this yeah. stuff, and yeah. he literally streamed across yeah. the road. You know who my people yeah. are. His parents. Oh yeah. It's not enough. Yeah. yeah, I don't want nothing to do with them. And not, I wanted yeah, to touch base with you. If I'm getting a charge, I'd like to file whatever yeah, he's, charges. He's getting one. I'd yes. like no, but yes. I'd like to. He's been trying yes. to sell firearms, yes. and he's yes. a felon. So okay. I have text messages. If that's the route it's going to be, if that's the route it's going to be. I'm done. Okay. Hey Eric, I don't mean to blow up like that, but I don't want I don't want some violent situation to yeah, arrive from from this jaw jacking, and you're telling him that you know his. You I got didn't people. say nothing. Okay. But you see how he came right. over, reacting, yeah. came running. Yeah, I understand, and I told him if you guys have beef, that he needs to just stay in the building okay but you also have a responsibility okay because we're here because you came here just that's straight up i mean regardless what happened yeah, inside work here, that's yeah. why well you and know what i'm saying no right putting his hands on me or okay. slamming me into a truck okay all right and i had bruising and yep. everything yep and obviously like we don't have the cameras to determine one way or another and that's why he's getting a dc right. ticket but you're also getting a dc ticket for the things you said and the way you were behaving. i'm getting so. a ticket for something yeah. i said yeah uh, officer maskey told you yeah you're but both that's, that sounds petty as fuck though well this whole thing sounds petty. That's that's petty that he put his hands on me. If if you've been fired you're and you're not supposed to be here, you can. I was not fired. I was fired after the fact. Oh, I was oh, told. That, I was told that you had already been fired. No, no, I was fired after the fact. Okay, all right, sounds good. So, like we said before, um, is your, your supervisor coming out? He's not able to come out right now, but you can call in if you want and talk Why? to somebody. Okay, I, I called him. I ran the situation by him. He's not able to come by, but he said he's willing to talk to you about it. If you need to, so you can call in. Yeah, but you guys are not taking him to jail for putting his hands on me. Okay. So that's what you guys do is just let people fucking push people in. Not in general. We have to take into the totality of the circumstances, okay? You can't come to a business, start Sir, yelling. Sir, I work and, here. I get you, but it doesn't they were yelling your at me. conduct. Okay, and then you can walk away and call the police or do things like that, but things escalated to the point they did because of how you acted, okay? Yeah, I'm but not, did you see I'm how he acted like a little fucking it? bitch and came I didn't, I was in here? my car. But, oh my God, he threatened me. Okay. So I'll arrange with them a way for you to get your stuff out of there. I gotta issue the ticket here, Eric. Okay, so it's for disorderly conduct. That's you know that's 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 um that's really uh bullshit, petty ass shit you're doing, right? Okay, that's cool. Here's your ticket. But I'm saying, what's your name? My name's Officer, Officer Maskey. We're not gonna go through this whole thing. You and you're giving me a citation, for, a citation me for me yelling for disorderly conduct. Okay? For disorderly conduct, you're giving for me a causing... ticket for yelling. Correct. Yes. Lacrosse sure. Police Department. And you're not going to take him to jail for putting his hands on me. Not under the circumstances, and me. no, Eric. We've already gone over this, and we don't I'm need just, to re-record it. I just want it. it on video. If you want to copy the video, I got it right here. All right, no problem, because that's okay? petty as fuck. You guys okay. are bullshit for doing it. All right, do you want help getting your stuff over there, or no? Fuck. Okay, well, we're not going to help you then. Fuck Not if you're acting like that. Yeah, but you guys let him fucking act like that. Eric, put his hands on get me. in your car and drive away, okay? Things are done here. That's just bullshit. Eric, just drive away. You can get your stuff later, okay? We're not going to go about this when you're angry. Well, I want you to be the fucking supervisor. I told him about it. He's aware of it, and you can call him. So what if, what's his name? How am I going to call him? I don't know who the fucking supervisor Sergeant is. Sergeant Taft, you just call the police department phone number. You That's can find it bullshit. on Google. Okay. Both men got a $187 citation for disorderly conduct. Next, we go to the case of 18-year-old Tiara, who acted oblivious after prank calling 911. So what you talking about? Huh? I just got here, so I interviewed. It ain't me. Why would I call y'all to describe myself? You know what I'm saying? You don't have to come with us, okay? Oh, y'all. Yeah. So wait. On April the 7th, 2023, a call about a hostage situation at McDonald's came in, and the police were dispatched to the location. However, when they arrived, they discovered that nothing of that nature was happening, and they were only met with a frivolous teenager who only wanted to have some fun with playing with some emergency services. What's your name? Uh, he's a Oh, Are y'all keep messing with me? You're not calling that one more? Hey, the girl played dumb about the situation the entire time she was being questioned. What? Y'all playing at me? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, a little bit? Well, a lot of bit, yeah. So what you talking about? Huh? I think y'all here. So I interviewed. I know. I ain't even going out for no more. I'm not doing it. And then you think I'm gonna call y'all and describe myself? That's stupid. And if you let anybody use your phone? Don't nobody use my phone? I'm trying to figure out what's going on. 
Because I see right here, I'm not being, I know my stuff on the table and I'm going to keep it. My phone, the purse, all that was on the table. How old are you? 18. I don't do no mess like that. You're a child. Who's your parent? You got? I was saying, man, you got out the phone with me. Oh, that's your, who was that? That's my mom in law. More than one? Yes. She just dropped me off. You got any other family? No, I don't fool with them. Okay. Yeah, she got in the thing. No T99 on that. Came back here. That ain't me. 3C13, this is what you need to come back on that. Huh? It ain't me. Why would I call y'all and describe myself? I'm slow. Uh, Everett here. 0120, 1074, 1075. Jeff, call B. I'm gonna lock my phone right now and show you what I'm doing here. She said, 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 do you mind? What else? They said you did with it. Yeah. He wanna talk to you, sis. They try to say that I called them to describe myself. They try to say I called them to describe myself. That's slow. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who you talk to. But I really want to pay attention to know that because I was on TikTok the whole time. Yeah, nobody else had this phone? No. What? Somebody was calling down once in your phone. No, I had put my purse out here on my phone, sorry. I had went to the bathroom. That was all. You left the phone in your phone? No, it's all like this. I went to the bathroom. I left everything right here. I don't take my stuff in the bathroom. That's what happened to my other phone. It broke. It fell in stool. One look at the security cameras was all that it took to know that her narration was a lie. She left a purse on the table with her phone on the purse. Then she went to the bathroom and left it there on the table. That's crazy. She said she didn't want to take it in the bathroom and get it dropped in the toilet like she did the other one. So there she's sitting, still sitting. Her first was there, and she's sitting. She's real She provided the officers with another false explanation, but this time they weren't falling for it. She's saying that her What did she call her and then her mother in law saying that her mom has been called now wherever she go, her mom called nine one one. So like report her as a runaway and how they use your phone? Huh? How they use your phone? I'm on the internet. I'll talk to my dad. That's my dad. Alright, well, you're gonna have to come with us, okay? Oh, y'all. Yeah. For what? Miss using 911 call, okay? That's not me. 
So can I call her and tell her how to come? Come on. I'm gonna put this in the pocket book, okay? Hop on down off the So y'all can take me for none that I didn't do? Ma'am, come on. Stop twitching your wrist. But don't too tight. She was charged with false 911 call and unlawful conduct during a 911 call. Agree that this teenager prank calling 911 was unwarranted. It was nothing compared to the case of this man who was accused of being an ISIS member through a 911 call. Get on the ground! 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 You okay? On the 29th of June 2016, a desk clerk who suspected a man of being an ISIS member alerted her family, who then reported the situation to the police. They got a third party call from the sister of the desk clerk and also her father advising there's an Arabic male in full headdress, several cell phones claiming his allegiance to ISIS. She's locked herself in the bathroom, no weapon seen at this time. I do not have a clothing description or anything further on the male in the lobby. Head to Fairfield at Chester in 611. Following the urgency of the call and the notoriety of the group in question, the cops proceeded to apprehend him, totally unaware that they were about to arrest an innocent man. Let's go on the LT. Back up. There he is. There he is. Right there. On the ground, on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on your turn. Roll up! 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 Awesome, go in. Grab his hands, cuff him up. We're covered, 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 covered. Cover, cover, cover. Get your phone away. Get your phone away. Cover the entrance LP. Get your back. Yeah, what's it do? Go. All right, you got his arm? Grab that arm. You good? Yeah. 37, and we have one detained, just one. We're in the main office. So I'm going to bring that cleaver right here. We're going to put him in. Pull up. I'm going to check him first. All right, turn. Turn to your left. Or your right. Turn to your right. What happened? Hold up. 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 I don't know, he's got enough. She said he's by himself. Anybody else? She said he's by himself. So so this guy down, make sure he's got nothing on. We look. Relax, relax. We look good. Relax. We're going to get you to stand up first. You got that? Sit up. Sit up. Up over here, man. Open up. Open up. Turn your arms. Turn your shit on. good? He's got a wallet or something. Hey. Another cell phone. Would you stay with him? You stay with him. Okay. I'm gonna have you remove your shoe. You got that? Lift your back leg up. Lift your left leg up. Lift your left leg. This leg, oh. lift it. Backwards. Embassy. Lift your other leg up. It says he works for the embassy. That's nice. Lift your leg up. You broken my telephone also. Yeah, you broke yes. my nail. Go to your 
Come this way. Hey, are you guys good? Hold the front. We're going to sweep the lot. There's possibly a second guy on seat somewhere. Have a seat you guys the okay? car. Yeah, we're good. The confused man was placed in the police car as officers searched his wallet for possible clues. However, nothing out of the ordinary was found, and it was obvious that the man wasn't ISIS, as the clerk claimed he was. Due to the man's lack of fluency in English, he had to call a police friend of his to talk to the officers, who explained that the 911 call they received was false. As the police spoke to his friend on the phone, the man passed out and had to be taken in by paramedics. You okay? They got scared, called us, and we took, you know, we detained him. You okay? Back. okay. Thanks. And now he just... He just passed out. So, what does this? That's why I'm coming to the train right here. He was older or no. He had several cell phones with him. She got nervous because of how he was dressed. Or is there... Sir, what kind of medical issues do you have? He had a stroke. He's here at Cleveland for his stroke, stroke treatment. Okay. okay. He's had a stroke. Yeah. Heart problem? Is this your brother? No, 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 no. My daughter was the dog's fired. Did he hit his head? I don't think so. He started falling and I caught him at the last second. Okay. I don't think he kind of sat. Did something hurt? Uh, All right, we're getting the cop right now. That's a long thing. Yeah. We're going to pick you up and put you on the cot here. One second, okay? Yes. I'm going to take your glasses, get them to the officer here, and put them with your other possessions. Can you talk to me? Ahmed, how do you feel? What's going on? Did you not feel so well? All right, boss, I'm going to sit you up here. How you feel? Not good? Not good? All right, I'm going to grab your wrist, boss. I'm going to stand you up, and we're going to move you to this cat. I'll probably go to St. John West Shore, probably. St. John's. Ahmed, can you talk to me so we can treat you here? I think I got copies in 827 that I lost the last three. No. <laughs> he was not in me and technology. Officer, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get your information, okay, so I can contact you. Okay, what is your name? Afterwards, the police followed up with an investigation to determine what exactly prompted the suspicion. Similar to the case of this man, the police rushed to the woman's aid after she lied about being in a troubling situation and needing help. On March 19, 2023, in Marshfield, Wisconsin, a concerning 911 call was made by a female identified as Kayla, urgently requesting an officer's assistance, but refusing to provide further information. The call was accompanied by the sound of a male shouting in the background. Officers were quickly dispatched to the location traced through the ping of the female cell phone. On the way to the scene, the officers had a thousand different scenarios playing in their heads. Was she being abused? Or worse, was she being held captive? However, when they got to the scene, they quickly realized that was far from the actual case. 
We're not leaving. Come to the door. Open the door. What's going on? I have to go to work. No, I have to go to work. I'm not willing to be late for work. Okay, what's going on? I have to. Nothing. Nothing. I have to go to work. I don't even know why you guys are here. Get away from me, please. You're making me feel. I want the chief of police here. Whoever the supervisor is, I want here. Okay, he's coming. Okay, I have to go to work. I don't have time for this, sir. I have to go to work. So you called me. No, I didn't. I don't know who called you. I didn't call you. What's your phone number? Sir, that. 60385. I'm from. I'm from New Hampshire. I'm from Massachusetts. Choose it originally. Okay, so who's in the apartment with you? Me. Okay, who else? Me. Is there someone else? I have to get ready, sir. Okay. I have to go to work. We gotta. I have to go to work. Gotta, we gotta call. Hello. Hi. Oh. Okay. So that's why, the number that called nine one one. I actually have. I actually have two different numbers. On that's the, the number that called nine one one. Oh, you're right. It was. They needed some help. Okay. Initially. Kayla starts out by saying that she hadn't called the police and didn't know anyone who had called them. That was quickly disproven by a quick-thinking cop who called the same number that had contacted the police department moments earlier. And as you might have guessed, that was actually Kayla's own number. This blatant lie is just the beginning of the chaos that is about to unfold. I have to go to work, y'all. I have to go to work. I have to go to work. I have to go to work. I'm not talking to you. I'm not speaking to you. I have to go to work. Who else is inside? Okay. I have to go to work. You guys are going to cause me to lose my job. Please let me go to work. There's no one inside. Please let me go home. Please. I have to go to work. I have to go to work, sir. What the f*** are you doing? Oh, my God. Stop. Get the f*** away from me. Get the f*** away from me. Get the f*** away from me. Get on the floor. Kayla attempts to escalate this situation because she knows calling 911 for a non-emergency can result in criminal charges. She hopes that by acting like a victim, she can walk away from this without any trouble. However, that plan was quickly ripped to shreds when her boyfriend busted the door open, ready for war. I didn't do anything. I thought you guys were hurting my wife. I thought you were hurting you. I didn't do anything. Uh, Officer! I can't breathe! You just chased my boyfriend for no reason! You need to, you need to calm down. You just know I can't breathe. No! You're gonna go up? I can't. I'm go. Let's go. I'm cold. Uh, oh. You're gonna oh my story. god. Let's go. 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 let us go as Kayla realizes that her little play the victim game doesn't work, she shows her true character by cursing out the officers and calling them names. After being placed into a police car, Kayla finally reveals the real reason behind her 911 call. Please don't, please, I'm not gonna run. Why would you guys handcuff me? I wasn't running. Okay, listen, you called 911, just listen, all right? All right, please. you been called 911 because he was, because he was being a douchebag. I was just trying to threaten him. Cops. Okay, that's inappropriate, that first of all, right? I understand that, but okay. I wasn't, he wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. Okay, you you got every police officer over here because we thought someone was being A, murdered, beat up, yeah. and... No, I'm fine. You guys did all of this. He up. thought that you were hurting me. Of course he came out here to help me. He thought you guys were hurting me. Okay, you called 911. You just him. Yeah. He wasn't doing anything. Okay. Go on the no, oh, please. Right. I have to put your legs inside. Sir, I have put to put your legs inside. I'm trying to talk to you like a normal put person. Put your legs inside the vehicle. Please talk to no, me. No, put your legs inside the vehicle right now. As the situation unfolds, Kayla continues her uncooperative behavior, making it very difficult for the officers to actually do their job. What was initially meant to be a little game with her boyfriend turned out to be an extremely chaotic scene. Kayla was eventually arrested and charged with resisting or obstructing an officer and disorderly conduct. 